So I just pulled the field right here. So we got 50 acres of hay down right now. So it's split pretty evenly between this field right here and then the field right on the top of the hill right up there, the darker green there. So we got this for today. So this should be pretty thick stuff here in that field. It's pretty good except for the top of the hill. It's a little grass here, but this should be a pretty decent amount of feed here in these two fields right here. So the thing that's kind of hard about the two fields that we're doing today is that they kind of vary in thickness. This, like I said up there in that field, the top gets really thin and it's kind of the same with this field where it's thicker over here and as you work your way up this hill here it gets a little bit thinner and then on the other side of the hill it goes a little bit, it gets thicker again. So the hard part about that is trying to time if ever, like all the hay being like the kind of how dry you want it because if you like this stuff that's thinner dries out a little bit faster than the stuff that's over here that's gonna be a little bit thicker so you gotta make it so you shop it before this stuff gets too dry and then just hope that the stuff that's a little bit thicker isn't too wet so that's kind of one thing you kind of not really struggle a ton with but it's just something you gotta keep in mind when you're debating how long you wait and let the hay dry before you actually go and shop it in the middle of the field here you can kind of see how far the field goes that way and then I got quite a bit merged over there ahead of them so that's kind of nice it's easier when I got a lot merged ahead of them and they're not chasing me around the field right behind me so that's nice they're just getting that truck started from over there so I got the merger all folded up here and I got this field down there still on the other side of the hill they got quite a bit to go yet here so there's a driveway down here on the end of the field, so at least I don't have to drive all the way back across the road. The field, I mean. To, and we'll just hop on the road and go down on the road a little bit, and we'll get into our next field over there. I'm far enough ahead here where I can take a half-time break to untangle my flag here. It got a little tangled up with all the wind changing direction and stuff. This road right here is pretty busy, so we gotta get the flag untangled so that way we can look visually appealing for everyone driving by. They just got the headlands done over here. And they got a couple rounds left up on that field up there. You can just see the chopper there. And they got probably what it, I'd say like five, five rows left up there. So it'll be a little bit yet before they get over here. I got this whole field merged now here. So we got the merger all pulled up and ready to go. So once we get this field done, we'll be officially halfway done with our first crop. So we're planning on cutting some more tomorrow and keep on working at it. Look at how full the bunker is getting here. It looks like it's not quite half full, but getting there. So we got most of that field that I was merging in last lap. So by the time we're done tonight, the bunker here will probably be pretty close to half full. Right now I'm working on cutting our 30 acres here. That's the closest to our farm here. Our farm's right up the road that way a little bit up there. So this is going to be some of the thickest stuff that we're going to be chopping all year though because this is still pretty new seed. So this should take quite a bit even though it's 30 acres. We cut our hay with the triple mower. Basically how this works is the front mower goes on three points that are on the front and there's a bracket that hooks the three points up. It actually hooks up to the mower. So you can leave, it's like a quick, a quick attach almost. So you can, that, it's a little bit easier to hook stuff up and then you got two on the back here that get hooked up and then once we're done in the field these fold up and they, they get held together by those yellow clamps there. I'm just working on doing my last pass right now here and this will be done and over there that's the new scene that we just put in so eventually we'll, this will all be just one big hay field but since it's new scene and it got planted later and it wasn't established it's well, it's behind this stuff, obviously, so plant that probably will end up getting chopped around the time we do this for second crop, so maybe third crop for this stuff, if we'll be able to do the whole field, and I'm not sure how it's really going to work out for timing wise, so we'll see. This field completely cut down. The next field we're going to is 12 miles away from here, and there's a bridge, and when this thing gets pulled up, it gets pretty high, so... We had to, you can fold up the flappers on the end here, kind of like it is down on that end over there. So normally you just press, you just press, there's a little button here you can press and then press it in and it flips up. I got my handful, so I'm not gonna be able to do it here. So normally we have a screwdriver and a tractor, but 
we didn't i couldn't find one so i'm just using a knife here but this stuff i think will dry pretty fast it's thick but there's also a pretty nice breeze here so we'll probably be chopping here in a couple hours so we just got that land done in this field and right now dad's showing duke how to run the burger so duke's gonna get his first experience running the burger today so see how he does with that it didn't get too bad. It only has to put three rows together, which is pretty easy because you don't have to try to aim and get up, get all three rows that you're merging together on also landing on top of a row. That's a little bit more fun. Found this lane in the row while we were chopping here, so it looks like we have a time point of running around somewhere here on our farm. Duke's just working on fishing up the last couple rounds here in the field for him yet. And I think we got what? One, two, three, four. Probably like half a dozen rows left, maybe seven or eight. But we're getting down there in the field. He's doing pretty good for his first time. I'm sorting us some food right now, so the chopper's just doing us a little dance while it waits for her to get done ordering food so we can get back to job. I just got my last load here. There's like half a row left here for I did have to get people's pull in the field right there. So do pick that up here to finish up this field. So far this year we're living up to our farm sandwiches. We do our best work in the dark, which we've been doing a lot of that chopping hay so far this year. Thanks to everyone who made it to the end of the video here. I just wanted to say that instead of making this one real long video, I'm going to split the video up into uh, part one and a part two. So this will be the part one, and I'm going to have a part two that's going to be a little bit shorter coming out here pretty quick. So also if anyone's interested in signing up for our farm camp, it's still available. We have our first two that are going to be coming this week. So we'll pro I'll probably have a video out that shows a little bit of what that all entails, but there's still one more available for anyone who still wants to sign up. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.